Hi everybody, I am Master Kenneth. This is Master Ken. We're from Third Eye Martial Arts and today we're going to show you how to do Tego 3. Right? So please follow along. So first of all, we're going to start with the demonstration of Tego 3. Master Kim is going to demonstrate Tego 3 for you. So please watch carefully and then we will explain the details later. Tego! Kenne! I'm say Jimmy! Okay everybody, so for today, in take of three, we're going to talk about four things, four new things that you have to do in the Pumse. So the first thing we're going to cover today is the knife hand strike, this movement from position one to two. So what we're going to do together is this, we're going to start from position one, your hands are going to start in a position very similar to that of a middle block. Right? The position starting is the same, just with your hand open, and your palm should be facing out. You're going to move your hand inwards in the same way you do a middle block, but at the last second, you're going to straighten your elbow so that you strike to the neck. So from position one to two. Master Kim, can you please show? Ready? So from here, position one, two, two. Position one, two. Position one, two. Position one. Two. Okay, so if you guys have any problems with this move, please go over it a few more times. Right, and now the next thing we're going to cover today is the single knife hand block. And this is different from the knife hand strike we did earlier. Okay, so a strike and a block are different things. When we're doing our single knife hand block, we start in a position that's similar to our head block. This. So instead of having our hand close, instead we're going to open it. So if your left hand, sorry, your supporting hand should be on your shoulder. Your opposite hand should be on your belt. So from your belt, you're going to lift up your hand to your shoulder and you're going to move both your hands at once to go and block to the side of your body. A few things you want to do, you want to have your elbows bent at 90 degrees. You want to have your fingertips below your shoulder. So you're starting from position one on your belt, two to your shoulder level, and then three to a block position. So let's practice this basic movement a few times together. Position one, two, Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now the next step from here is to put it together because when you do this block, it needs to be smooth. So what that means is from position one, you go to two and to three straight away, two. So let's try this together. Position one, two, one, two, one. Two. Okay, very good. The next thing we're going to cover today, we're going to cover the back stance. So for the back stance, which is in the Pumse, we are going to cover what our foot should do. So for our feet together position, we are going to do a back stance in this direction with our right leg. To do that, you're going to take your right leg, turn it to the side. Okay, and you're going to have your heels on either side of the left. So don't cross your heels. All right, so from here, you're gonna move your right leg forward, one foot, move your heel to where your toe is once, and then do it again. The distance between your heels should roughly be two feet around them, okay? And now, for your body in your hip position, you need to have your back straight, and you're going to line up the following details. You're gonna have your foot, your knee, your hip, and your shoulder all together on one line for your back stance position. So for example, if you have your toe sticking out, that's incorrect. If you have your butt sticking out, that's incorrect. If you have your knee sticking out, that's also going to be wrong. You want to have all those details, foot, knee, hip, shoulder, and a straight back for your back stance. 
Okay, so we're gonna practice this for example. We're gonna just show you stepping from side to side. So from here, we're gonna step into a back stance left and right side like we do in the Pumse. So from here, we're gonna step out and show you back stance. From here, other side, right side. Left side again. Right side. Okay, so when we go through the Pumse, we're going to use this. Now, the last new thing we're going to introduce today is this concept of chambering your punch when you kick. So in Pumse 3, there are parts where we have to do a double punch, right? However, when we're kicking and when we're punching, we have to prepare for each of those movements. For example, we do not do this. We don't go kick and we don't start our punch from this position. In Taekwondo, we start our punch from our waist. This is the chamber position. So the order of events for doing a kick and a punch is going to be Hands up into fighting stance position. It's going to be the kick, and it's going to be the punch from your belt. Okay, so we're going to practice this order of events together. So from fighting stance from B, <laughs> we're going to have our hands up here, we're going to raise our knee, and we're going to kick. And now, before we land, we're going to take our right hand, the same one as my leg, and I'm going to put it onto my belt. And I'm going to point my left hand forward sideways so that I can pull it back to my belt as I punch and land. One, two. I'm going to try that one more time from low block position. So, before we kick, prepare for your block, for your kick. Hands up. You're going to kick. You're going to prepare for your punch. And you land. Punch. Let's practice this from the other side. So, from your right hand, hands up. Left kick. Left hand touch your belt, right hand in front, and double punch. Okay. All right, so these are the four new things that we're going to introduce for Tego 3. Now, we're going to start introducing the Pumse itself. So let's go through the movements, right? About four to five moves at a time so you can focus on the details. Okay, so let's go through the Pumse now together. Okay, we're going to go through the first four moves of the Pumse together with Master Kim. So, sir, could you please face Pumse, Jumi! Tegok Samza. The first move we're going to do is just like Tegok 1 and 2. It's going to be a low block with your left leg and your left hand. Now, from here, the next move is going to be a kick with your right leg, and you're going to punch with your right hand first. Then, follow up with your left hand. Set. Net. Bottom. So we're going to do that one more time. I want you guys to focus on the details of which leg and which hand we're using. So once again, Jimmy. Low block with your left hand. Now, we're going to kick with the right leg and then punch with your right hand, then your left hand first. I want you to make sure that you're punching with your right and then your left because you're kicking with your right leg first. Third. From this position, you can turn around block with your right hand. Set! From here, we're going to kick with our left leg. So the punching hand will be our left side first. Now, from here. Okay, so from this position here, we're going to transition forward into a single knife hand strike. From here, Kaso. So this movement from this angle is going to be from here, you're going forward with your right hand and your left leg. For the next one, you're going to close your hand, open your hand, step forward. Yes, sir. Okay, from here, Master Kim is going to step to the side and do a single leg hand block with his left hand. Now, okay, from the opposite angle, make sure you can see he's starting his hand from his belt, lifting it up, and blocking to the side of his body at his shoulder level. Right? He's completing his stance at the same time as he is finishing his block. From here, my skin is going to change to a punch. Here we go. Right, single knife hand block on the other side with his right hand. So the punching hand, the same hand that you're punching with, is going to do the block on the other side. Now, from here, he's going to change to a forward stance and punch with his left hand. Third. Okay. From here, Master Kim is going to go to the front and do a middle block. Now. 
from here, make sure you straighten your hand and bring the other one up before you do your second middle block. Three. From here, Master Kim, he's going to spin around by moving his left leg behind him and turning around and doing a lower block. So the same hand that you're blocking with right now, your left hand is going to block again. Now, from here, this position is going to be the same as the beginning. So you're going to do a kick and a double punch, just like the start. Master Kim is going to kick with his right leg and then punch with his right and then his left hand. So once again, a reminder, when you kick with your right hand, you punch with your right hand first. Set! From here, he's going to turn around and block with his right hand. One important thing to remember is that now that you've spun around, you are going to turn backwards, not forwards. So, in this case, Master Kim started facing the wall, but when he turns around, he's going to face the camera he's going to, when he turns around. Now! From here, left kick followed by left right punch. Third. From here, Master Kim is going to step to the back. He's going to do a low block and a pan. Uh, he's going to do a low block and a punch, right at double speed. Now, from here, he's going to step forward, and his punching hand is going to do the next block. So his right hand is going to move again to do low block. Set. From here, Master Kim is going to kick with his left leg and then he's going to block with his left hand. So an important thing for this part is to make sure that when you kick, you keep your leg in the air and you finish your block together with the landing of your low block. So the same idea with your punch, you're going to time your low block and the landing of your leg together. And the same thing is going to happen with his right leg his right block and his left punch. Okay, so we're going to take what we just learned and we're going to put it together and we're going to do the whole thing all together at once on Master Kim's own time. To make sure, we're going to try and do our best to show you what we're talking about with our low block, with our kick, and the double punch and our single neck hand block. Ready? Two! Get in! Who said you mean? On your own time. She jump! Okay, everybody, so this was take up three. So hopefully when you go home and you practice it, please use this video as reference so that you can improve your technique and so you can learn how to do it properly. Thank you very much. Turn. Turn. Good night.